Major progress has been made this year on the new Gordy Howe International Bridge. Crews have been at work since 2019, and it's on track to be finished December 2024. When it is finished, the bridge will connect Detroit and Canada. Our Gino Vici got an up-close look at some of the progress today. He joins us from the bridge site in southwest Detroit. Gino? You know, you have to stand in awe when you think about the magnitude of this project dealing with two federal governments, the U.S. and Canada, two local governments, Michigan and Windsor. There's certainly a lot that could go wrong, but despite even the delays from the COVID-19 pandemic, engineers for the Gordy Howe International Bridge say they expect construction to get done on time. We've made tremendous progress this year. Grant Hilbers is an engineer with the Windsor Bridge Authority. He says the Gordy Howe International Bridge construction continues to be underway and so far on schedule. Hilbers invited CBS Detroit down to the site to get a first-hand glimpse of where the project is. Hilber says this is a marvel to watch build. We've got not only the bridge, but we've got two ports of entry that we're constructing as well as a tie-in to I-75. Uh, between all four components this year, we believe that we have about 2,300 people on any given day working on this project. Grant says the Gordie Howe International Bridge construction uses a cantilever or cable stay bridge system using wires to hold it up. It's one of the longest of its kind. It's going to be the longest cable stay bridge in North America uh, by, by a significant length. The, the back span of the bridge, which you see right behind me, uh, is completed on both, in both sides of the border and we're about 50% across the water uh, constructing the bridge. Heather Grondon, community relations with the Windsor Bridge Authority, says while this new international bridge is going to connect Canada to the U.S., she says it was important for developers to make sure they connected with the community surrounding the site. So on October 21st, we're hosting a community appreciation breakfast at Clark Park. The breakfast this weekend is twofold, to celebrate the progress of the project, as well as inform the public about future job opportunities and also give some thanks. It's also an opportunity for us to express our appreciation and our thanks to the community for their patience and support uh, during our ongoing construction. If you'd like more information on how to register, we posted a link on our website, cbsdetroit.com. In Detroit, Gino Vici, CBS News Detroit.